Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the sexy, savvy singer on the Fox hit series Empire who men and women have mm. fallen head over heels for. I know, that's right. Yes. And while continuing to shine on the small screen, he's also making great music and exploring his talents behind the camera. Check out this snippet of an episode he directed this season on Empire. When your mama goes, leaves a hole in your spirit. Didn't matter that she didn't know her. Living with that hole inside of me most of my life. That hole, that hole goes both ways. I should not be smoking around your heart. Me too. Ooh. Please welcome Jesse Smollett! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited! <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Everybody. Yes, hair. Come on, hair. It is really doing its thing. Thank you. Yeah, it's, yes. it's growing. It's a sprout. It's, it's a chia pet. It's a chia pet. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Like Samson, my hair is my I know strength. That's right. Yes, yes. Jesse, you are a triple threat. Thank you. So I mean, are you. Thank you. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what he had said. <laughs> but I mean, coming from such a talented family, how did you know, or when did you know, um, when did you become aware of your talent? All three of these talents. I um, I don't think that there was a time that I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I feel like as a kid, you kind of, you kind of tap into your, you know, your gifts right. early yeah. on. Especially, you know, whether it's based on the attention that you might get for your gifts mm -hmm. or just because you love to do it. I think that you right. know it, and it just takes somebody to nurture it. Ah, yeah. And my yeah. mother was there to just nurture it. And she would always say, like, everybody's born with a bevy of gifts. Yeah. You know, you just have to nurture them. And she did. She was I always joking. I say she's like, like Cookie Lion meets Fraulein Maria from The Sound of Music. <laughs> that's my mom, you know? So we just always walked around singing and, and doing things like that. And it, she loved it, and we loved it, and it kept us out of trouble. So yeah. it was like, mm -hmm. you know, here we are, fast forward, like, 90 years later. Yeah. <laughs> now, and now your character is just, I, I love Jamal uh, yeah. on Empire. He's Thank just, you. Uh, he's such a... Um, a complex character. Yeah. yeah. He, um, he deals with so much, including acceptance. And as far as you playing this role and taking on this responsibility, how important for you is it to convey the black male character the way that you do? Mm. I just think it's about, again, it, I just feel like every single question that I always get somehow goes back to my mother mm -hmm. in mm. the sense that my mother would always, she would always say when we were growing up and we would always clown her about it. It was like the thing that mommy always says, here's mommy saying this again. <laughs> she would always say, honor, honesty, honor, mm. honesty, honor, honor, honesty. honesty. Yes. And for us, it was just a thing of we, I remember she was the only acting coach that we ever had still to this what? day. What? Really? Myself, Journey, everyone's the same acting coach, that, the only acting coach we've ever had. And wow. she would always be like, if you're gonna put your hands in your pockets, put your hands in your pockets. Yeah. If you're gonna fold your arms, fold your arms. Whatever you would do, just do it and do it fully. Yes. And do it fully in the truth. Mm -hmm. So for me, th there's, there's really nothing except to be honest with any character that you play. So with Jamal, it was just, when I first read the script, I knew that it was mine. Yeah. Because there's some things that you just, you know, you hope that it's yours, you yeah. maybe pray that it's yours, but there's some things that you just like, no, I know that this is mine. Yes. And it doesn't take away anything from the other amazing actors that were up for it, but it's just, it was mine. Yeah. And I knew that I had to tell the truth. And for this character particularly, there's so many, so many communities on my back. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you want to represent them well, and that's why still to this day, we're going into season five, we start shooting in July, we yeah. still fight so hard, tooth and nail, wow. um, for the characters, mm -hmm. you know, because you don't want to be stereotypical. You don't want to, um, you do have a responsibility, yeah. and I take that responsibility seriously. seriously yes. You know, it's not something that I'm just like, oh, it's just, let me get that check. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a responsibility yeah. for sure. And you know, Jamal, your character has been through so many different things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> he's been shot. When I tell you. <laughs> he's been an addict. Right. Off the chain. You know, he's been, you know, he pulling way too many men shot. at different times. He has a stre his know. stress levels are beyond, beyond. Are just ridiculous. Beyond. What, but with all that being said, do is there something that you see or a, a position that you would like to see Jamal 
uh, progress to yeah. or be in, you know, from behind the camera. I'm always hesitant to say because I don't want those storylines not to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I said it, then Leo called me up and be like, like nah, well, you said it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You said it, now it can't happen. Thank yes. you. Um, but I think it's safe to say that by the end of the series, uh, not a season, but by the end of the actual series, I'd like to see Jamal married. I'd like Aww. to see him maybe happy, maybe have a kid, yeah. you know, because I, there has to be some sort of payoff for, for all of the things that he's gone yes. through. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He's been shot by a friend. He's lost friends. He's, you know, dated people that were using him. So, they, you know, it's, he's been <laughs> through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you yeah. know, but his sense of loyalty has always yeah. been the same. That's he's still to this day yes. mm -hmm. the only Lion member that has never gone against the family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so yeah. for that, um, yeah, Jamal's my best friend. He pays my bills. Yes, he does. He, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You yes, know, I always does. say that in my show. I'm just like, he's he's good, good dude. He's, he's good a, to yeah. me. Right. He's yeah. good to Gotta me. Gotta treat him he's right. Doing yeah, his thing. Sure. He's going through a lot for you. He's yes. Going, yeah. yes. He's going through a lot. <laughs> and it's all for me. Right. I love you, Molly Mall. Love you, love you. <laughs> New music, some of my music. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What can people expect from this? Album. I'm a straight R&B singer. Mm -hmm. Selena, let me tell you something. I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be making records in the '90s. Well, why didn't you? Well, because you were born? born. No, I was born, but I was born like I think I was born like 12 years too late. Mm. Because I was supposed to be sitting up there making records with Rome mm. and Case. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to maybe be in H Town. Yes. When you sing on Empire and and I see you up there, you remind me of my era. Thank you. And even though my air is not done, but no, I, not at I all. totally could see, like, and even in your writing and everything and how you approach the records, it's Thank you. totally. Thank you. And if you come to the show, you'll see, like, it's it feels like a '90s R&B jam, yeah, love mm. yes, session, yeah, yeah. you know. Well, we... But the music is some of my music, and it's R&B. It's straight R&B. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I always say, though, like, when people say, oh, R&B versus pop, R&B is pop now. Yes, because it is. Because at the end of the day, pop music is popular. That, I tried <laughs> like, to explain this. Well, uh, just, just stay right here. We're yes, not going to yes. go nowhere. When we come back, we're going to talk about all of this when we return. So just stay right here. This is crazy. I'm, I'm telling you. It's a genre. It's a genre. Hip-hop is pop music now. Yes, it is. We're back with actor, director, singer, and philanthropist Jesse Smiley. Yes, come on, slashes. Thank you for those. <laughs> slash, 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 slash. slash, slash. <laughs> uh, you're an activist, yeah, philanthropist. Definitely. How are you merging the two with your art, or is has your art inspired you to be a philanthropist? I think activist? both have definitely inspired. They like my art and my activism, like the Williams sisters. They just mm -hmm. like them. they together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we weren't given a choice growing up you know, as to mm. whether we were going to be involved or not. Yes. There were two things that we were not given choices of, and that was whether we loved each other, the siblings, mm -hmm. and and whether we were involved. So I just feel like, you know, even down to my tour, it, the proceeds of the tickets are going to the Black AIDS Institute and Flint Kids. Oh, wow. And uh, some of the stops are going to a uh, human rights campaign. It's just, I've been so blessed. Yes. Like, even in the moments where I didn't have anything by society standards, like where you got $17 in the account, you got to find three so you could deposit it, take a 20 right, right, right. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. um, you still have to stop and you have to think about how grateful and how blessed you are. And the idea that somehow only my blood family would benefit from the fruits of all of our labor is it doesn't connect yes. with me or any of us. So it's just any way that you can. I look at someone like Harry Belafonte, who held on to his voice as an activist and artist. Alfre Woodard, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, um, Ossie Davis and Ruby Dee, people that truly fought for what they, and fight for what they believe in, for what they know is right. There's so much hate in the world yeah. that's so yeah. loud. Yes. And it's just like, we just gotta get louder, you know? Yes. So that's just where I'm at. I don't see any anything but love. So that's all it yeah, is. I loved him. I knew yeah. I loved him. I, <laughs> I love you too. That Thank is you. just amazing. <laughs> Speaking of love, we got to love it or leave it we the game. We got to love it or leave it. Okay. Love it or leave it. We're going to play a game called Love It or Leave It. I love Let games. me get my little twos out. Because we got some twos we made down to the circle. These are your twos. This is our church lady. Our church lady, fan. Uh, this is my church, church fan. fan. <laughs> from the Summer of Our Music Tour. Yeah. This is what you get at the tour. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I feel like Love It or Leave It. Okay, well. Okay. 
I'm this gonna, is going to be leave it because this looks a little that angry. Mean, so I'll okay. just do love it. I'll be like, love yeah. it. Okay. Or leave, leave it. it. Okay. Leave it. Okay. So Rashawn is going to when read I, off these love it or leave it. When someone sends you a long, drawn out text message, well, is it? Uh, do you love uh, it or do you leave it? It depends on it? what it's about. Oh, yeah. content. Because if it's positive, content. you can go with it. Yeah, like my mama will send like biblical text messages <laughs> about the fact that she saw me on TV and I had dark circles and I need to eat more gr greens and salad. <laughs> you might want to do this. <laughs> right, right. In between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it and I leave it. I love it and I leave it. Okay, I'll, I'll do the second one and you'll get the okay. next one. Oh, manscaping. Oh, love it. Yes, yes, absolutely. Oh, wait, love it is. You. There you yeah, go. Right. <laughs> I ain't escaped my chestuses, though, right. in a minute. My chestuses is a real woolly mammoth. Yeah, okay, no. well, as a singer, this mm -hmm. is, a, this is oh, one this I... Is Come this, on. This is, this, I ain't going to tell you what it is for me, but I, this is one get on my nerve. What? You just said it. I just said it. Okay, good. When people sing and hold their ear and do this, and they hand go up, but they don't. Love it or leave it. Do you do that? No, I don't. Hello, somebody. That's people trying to be like Mariah Carey. Or that's that, what it is. What Mariah? That's is. that's people. That's people trying to do the Mariah. Oh, oh is that for? Is that a leave it or, or no? I'm gonna unless you Mariah Carey, I'm a, I'm a leave it. <laughs> okay. All right. We're I'm gonna leave do, it. We're gonna do one more. Sugar on your grits. Come on now. No. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Who are you? Because if it's sugar on your grits, uh -huh, uh -huh. then it's we Tina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, in Chicago, while you filming, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people eating sugar on their grits. But then that's oatmeal. That's oatmeal. We're in it. That's oatmeal. Well, that's, Hilarious. The, that's, that's the hood oatmeal. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jesse, so much Thank for joining for us. Me. We Thank love you. So much. He's amazing. So, 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 you have to purchase this album, some of my music, mm -hmm. in stores and online, and you can catch him on the Fox Hit series Empire at 8 p.m. Eastern. And the amazing conversation that this show garners okay, always on SisterCircleTV.com and at Sister Circle TV on all of our social media platforms. The amazing Yay. Jesse Smith. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are an amazing crowd.